Well, now Peraza, who has certainly had his moments off the bench for the Mets, well, back to the doubleheader with Colorado back in May when he hit a home run in a one nothing Mets win. And then the second game of the doubleheader, he got the big hit as well. Sunday, he had the fan interference double against the Yankees. That put the Mets in front to stay. Nice grab. Hader's got a little extra on his fastball today. I said that eight days have passed since he's thrown last. One out and nobody on. And Peraza gets one in the air to left center field. Back goes Bradley to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here! Jose Peraza ties the game with a pinch hit home run. Strikes again. The first home run Josh Hader has allowed this year. His first blown save of the year. And it's Peraza, the king of the bench mob, to tie it up in the seventh. Well, sometimes you got to mix intelligence with talent. He saw Hader just blow away Pilar with three straight fastballs after he got behind in the count. He looked for that fastball first pitch. Got start got it started early. It ties this ball game. Hader had been 20 for 20 in save opportunities. And now he's not. Slider to start off Nimmo nothing and one. First pitch hitting. Up in the zone. And Peraza covers it. What a hit. Now the Mets of the tying and winning runs in scoring position with nobody out. There's nobody throwing in the bullpen for the Brewers. Chris Hook, the pitching coach, on his way out to talk to Suter, who's hit a batter and walked a batter. Reminiscent of Edwin Diaz is top of the eighth. And now the Mets could win it with a base hit. But something you wouldn't uh, normally see from Suter, who is a control artist. He's a guy that usually lives on the bottom of the strike zone, but now you put him in a situation where the adrenaline rush alone maybe has taken him out of where his strength is. Well, certainly the the change up that he thought he got in at the knees and that demonstrative reaction, much as with Diaz in the top of the inning, when you see a pitcher fighting for calls like that, it's not a good sign. That's right. Unless you can uh, forget about it and with that walk obviously he didn't. Let's see how the Brewers play their infield here. Fly ball could tie the game. Base hit could win the game. But you don't want to play too far in. Would you concede the tying run to try to get a double play. They're going to play their middle infielders halfway. Corners are in against McNeil who had an infield hit his last time up. Base is loaded nobody out. And McNeil takes a slider on the inside corner for a strike nothing and one the infield configuration allows them to turn the double play up the middle if the infielders have to move to their left or right but if they have to come in on a baseball and can't turn two, it allows them a chance maybe to get Lindor in a force play at home got speed with Lindor at third not so much at second and first with Smith and McCann and McNeil takes inside a ball and a strike. Michael Conforto on deck. Mets have had a free runner, a hit batsman, and a walk in this inning to load the bases. And McNeil takes it low. Another slider from Suter. Two and one. It's gotten so rough for McNeil. He needs a game where he ends it as a hero. He has never had a walk off RBI in his career. Middle infielders remain halfway with the corners in. Tying run at third, winning run at second. And McNeil lines one base hit. Lindor is in. Here comes Smith. Here comes Bradley's throw to the plate on the hop. Not in time, and the Mets win it. Neal with his first career walk off RBI as the Mets.
Mets rally in the seventh, and they rally in the eighth, and they've taken the first two games of the series from Milwaukee as they win this one four to three. Gutsy effort uh, by the Mets in this game. Gutsy effort by McNeil. He hasn't had a lot to cheer about this year. Had to be in the back of his brain as he's trying to come up with that big hit. Finally ends it as a hero here in game one. Right in the middle of the plate. He knew it right away, but Jackie Bradley Jr.'s arm left this game still in peril. But he could not come up with an accurate throw, and the hustle of Dom twice in this series has scored a big run. And aggressive base coaching by Gary D. Sarcina to send Dom Smith. Figured the ball was on the grass long enough, and that Dom had a good enough break that he had a chance to beat Bradley's throw, and that he did. And so the Mets have now won four of their last five. They've taken the first two of the series for Milwaukee, their seventh walk-off win of the year. McNeil with his first ever walk-off RBI. Peraza with the home run of the seventh to tie against Josh Hader. And then the Mets rally for two in the bottom of the eighth to win it four to three.